get started. Hello there, my name is Matt, and hot off the trails of my incredibly unpopular and fairly shitty Bugs Bunny level 1 gameplay, I'm going to play Disney's Aladdin for the Mega Drive uh, 90s game, I think it's 93, 92, something like that. Um, made by Virgin and Disney, the corporation. Uh, genie bonus level, a boom bonus level, save save the princess, restart one up, where I'll spend these, help me to uh, throw out all that you got all that. Yeah, I, I, there's uh, several Disney sort of platforming games which uh, all sort of follow the same sort of, sort of side-scrolling formulas and the expectations that you normally get in them. I uh, used to really like this game there as a kid. It's it's kind of fun. The difficulty ramps up all of a sudden. The the first I'd, I'd like to say third, but it's just over third of the game is is fairly hassle three, and then uh, but the uh, that gets to one level which I will fail at massively. I can guarantee it. And from then on, it sort of goes, uh, gets uh, very hard, very quick. But uh, we'll see how we go. Ah, uh, 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 Jafar, yeah? I need to capture. Oh, I can't keep that up, fuck it. <laughs> There's a. Uh... This sprite looks like it's a Game Boy. He also looks like he's got jaundice. Or he's just really yellow. Compared to, uh, compared to the rest of the game. Agrabah Market. See, he like, he's uh, a lot healthier here. So yeah, standard sort of platformer. Uh, the way I play this game is the same way I've always played it when I was a child, where I I tend to um, just run through the early levels and just take hits like crazy. Like I just eat damage. I don't give a shit. Fucking don't give a shit. Just don't. Okay. The uh, the flames only hurt if you stand still on the little coal fields. This, this guy is a bastard and he's throwing knives at me, but I can throw apples. It's all good. Drops his, drops his pants and then dies. So, what you want in a kid's game is uh, a beast man dropping his pants. More apples. The apples don't give you a life, uh, lives. They look like they, they sort of they should. Like you should be able to get 100 and get a life. Um, the only way to get more lives is to spend the rupees. I think they're rupees, they're just like gems, these things. And uh, you spend them at the, uh, the merchant. Uh, when you find him. This guy is again being a jerk and very nice. Checkpoint. Stab that guy. Ignore him, fuck it. Oh. Get him an apple, fuck it, why not? These guys, you'll notice how it, it seems hard to sort of go face to face with someone unless you don't have the apples. You, you can just uh, sort of run at them and swipe and you might get lucky. You can also do like a crouching swipe, which I don't think I utilised here. But, the recklessness is showing as my life is dwindling. Little genie lamp in the top left. I don't know why they're playing. Uh, they're playing Prince Ali as well in the background. When you think it's the first level, they're playing the first song from the movie. You know, one jump. But uh, alas, it's in the game. It's, just, it's not the first level for some reason. So if they, they fucked up or just uh, didn't care, probably laugh. The, those uh, black lamps kill all the enemies nearby enemies. Guys, the staff. This guy steals your apples, which a bit of a cunning thing to do, but I don't think it really, think it really matters if he steals your apples. I, I never used to realise you could kill him actually until you said that. Just I randomly just swat, uh, swiped him. This seems a bit ridiculous. I, 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 well, I did manage to do it without taking damage. From when I was a kid, I used to always get hit by him. I used to get hit by most enemies, to be honest. This is a, a rush through. These early stages, because I used to try and try and just try and get as far as I could. Very impatient child. What are you buying? Uh, you can buy a life for five or a wish for ten. Obviously, if you buy a wish, which is a continue, you get three lives because each continue uh, is is comprised of three three default lives. And there we go, first death of the game. It, uh, from this point on, every time I die, I'm going to put a number up on the screen to show how many times in total I've died. It will get pretty ridiculous, probably, since I'm awful at this game on the later levels. But we shall see. So after a back rub from the genie, we spawn. So 
fuck that guy. Fuck him. And I was two feet away from the level end when I died. Fantastic. You get a little slot machine thing at the end here. You uh, collect the genie heads and they give you a chance to get a life and a rupees or the apples or a Jafar, which is a loon. Incredible. And I get the bonus level since I picked up the little Abu head earlier. A boo in Agrabah. I have no idea at all why it has a sword. But uh, anyway, you have to try and avoid these pots. And uh, the more you avoid, the more you get. You can swipe at them with the sword. If you hit them with the sword, they'll, they'll disappear. But it's not a very good strategy. You might as well just try and avoid them. Uh, the longer you last there, the more, the more stuff you get. You get more lives drops. You get stuff drops on you. But uh, I suck dick at it, so I fail. Very sinister music. They're fairly good graphics. I mean, like, the Cable One in the background doesn't look too bad because it's a 16 bit uh, Mega Drive game. Um, overall, I expect it's fairly standard for the time. So, in this level, the desert, find the two halves of Scarab. Uh, taking a bit of liberty with the storyline of the film here, but uh, it's odd. It seems like the beginning of this game. The beginning of this game has like uh, a couple of levels at the start of the movie, and then it soon moves on to the, the latter half of the movie fairly quickly. There's there's you know two or three levels with about the, about the halfway point of the movie, where uh, I suppose that's where the action is and where most things happen. But uh, I don't know. It seems a bit odd, really. It's odd, odd patient, odd pacing. Um, towards the end of the game, it's that that they're, they're starting to run out of ideas for levels. I think to be honest. The, uh, the middle part of the game is definitely the most challenging bit and the bit that's uh, most, most remembered by people who played it before. Anyway, jumping the spikes, stab that guy. Not um, a song from the film, as may have noticed. It's uh, just a, a random MIDI, presumably by Virgin. I don't know what input. I don't, actually, don't, actually, I wonder what the input Disney actually had in this game, other than they, they probably just gave Virgin the rights, to be honest. Did Virgin make Lion King? I think they made the Lion King game as well as the Mega Drive Lion King game. And the Pocahontas game, which I've uh, been told I have to play at some point. <laughs> it's points like this where these, these enemies seem to have weird hitboxes, these big guys with swords. Their hitboxes seem to sort of stretch as far as their sword can reach, even when they're just, they haven't got their sword out. Which uh, can make it a bit confusing as to when you can hit them if you haven't got apples, or if you're going to drop down them like I did there. These palm trees you sort of sink through unless you jump. I, I don't know the logic behind that. Uh, I, I guess Aladdin can uh, nimbly jump between the leaves or something. But... Yago. Oh my god. That actually killed me, even though I blame him. him. So that's life number two lost. Don't don't actually take notice to the actual number of lives, by the way, or the score, as uh, you'll soon notice that in, uh, in upcoming episodes that they don't really follow consistently because I'm doing se uh, separate runs. Uh, through the game, but uh, I will keep the the number of times I've died uh, consistent, and will keep it accurate. Uh, every time I die, I will uh, point it out or uh, demonstrate it in some in some way, and let make it count. So at the end, it's an accurate number. Uh, I'm not the best player at the mid section of this game. The the, the early sections, I'm I mostly rush, and obviously for time purposes, I'm not being ultra ultra careful. But uh, I used to basically play the same way as I was a kid. Where am I not there? Jumpy, jumpy, jump. I have to have a drink of a pop. No, right. Yago, fuck you. Genie head, good shit. God. Actually, not many many men enemies in this uh, game. To be honest, there's there's uh, about ten, probably ten different enemies. I know that's probably at the time that's not too bad per game, but like they they do get a bit repetitive. There's enough of those fucking guards to uh, for them to get re uh, repetitive towards the next thing. Oh, there's a goofy on that pillar there. Look, it's on the left. 
to be fair to the game, it's one of those, it, it gets challenging, but if you're careful and you, you've used the rupees to buy the, the wishes and continue, yours continues, by the time you get to midpoint, you could probably get through it after a couple of plays. You know, consistently you could survive long enough to get to the end. It's, uh, it's just the, the, the midpoint has several levels where it's about memorization and it can be a bit cheap in, in what the game pulls on you. So, oh, there's a boo. Raping that guy, come join him. That's disturbing. And that's even more disturbing. Get it! So that's the second level complete. Uh, join us next time for level 3, which is back in Agrippa.